Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you the next video of your shopping cart project and in this project I am going to add detail view for the order so here we have a order detail page and one by one um, uh, learn uh, everything about the order detail page uh, or you can say order detail .css file so here we have uh, that is the model and you know that uh, where we uh, here we have a order vm page order vm uh, class through which we can uh, communicate with the order so uh, just add shopping cart dot and the order vm is actually data access layer okay so here we have a shopping cart dot data access layer dot view models dot order vm and the next thing is using um, shopping cart dot util product projects we have some static details is there like website roles and user roles So using shopping cart dot utility project my computer uh, processor is too much slow so take time shopping cart dot utility that's fine and the next thing is to add form post here we have a form with the method post and input type equals to hidden ASP4 is the order header dot ID and in the next section we can see you can see that uh, here we have a order vm and input type equals to hidden and uh, asp4 is the order header dot id so id is a hidden and sent to the controller again and the next thing is the pickup details and the pickup details will be changed by the admin only so uh, if admin can mm, want to change the name so there is a role features at here so user dot is in role website dot role dot role admin and the user dot is in role website dot role dot employee if both employee and the um, admin can change the name uh, which is included in the order header so here we have a order header dot name order header dot name and order header dot name in the else part for the user because the uh, user is not uh, in the role so user can also change the name user is not uh, actually not change the name property the next thing is the phone number so only the phone number can change by the admin and for the user uh, only the read only property can sh can see in the uh, phone number and the next one is admin and that is the address address also the change by the admin not for the user so here we have a read only property the next thing is the order header dot city and then mm, only the user only the admin and employee can change the uh, uh, city uh, as well as uh, and uh, not for the user and in the next section is user is in role 
website role dot role admin and user is in role website role dot employee can change the state not for the user okay and the next thing is to postal code postal code is also changed by the uh, admin not for the user user uh, these properties are actually read only for the user okay and the next one is order header dot application user dot email is read only for the user and the next is order header dot date of order is actually not changed for the both the user and uh, admin so only display it here and make it as a read only and the input field we have a value so model dot order header dot order date is converted into the two string by using the two string and the tracking number is also changed by the admin not for the user and the carrier detail also changed by the uh, admin not for the user okay and the next one is the model header uh, order header dot date of shipping is also not changed um, for the both the user and the admin also and the next one is the session id and the payment intent id actually not changed for the uh, not changed and and update um, and not seen uh, for the user actually admin can see in and uh, admin can change uh, admin can only the seen um, the session id as the and the payment intent id so here we have a model dot order header dot session id is not equals to null then you can see that model dot order header dot date of payment dot to short date string if it is not null model dot order header dot session id is not equals to null then you can say that uh, input read only value equals to model dot order header dot date of payment dot to short date to string and order header dot date of payment payment date and the next thing is to payment status so here we have a read only asp for order header dot payment status also shown for the user and the admin only but not change both of admin and the uh, user and then next thing is to uh, here we have a update button so by using the update button admin can change the properties So here we have a payment status and update order button by using this you can uh, admin can update the uh, essential order header information. The next thing is order summary and order summary is actually related to the uh, order detail page. So here we have a order status by using order status is actually a part of order header. So model order, order header dot order status and you know that uh, order VM have a uh, order header and the list of order detail page so where item in the model dot order detail page so in the model order detail we have a item dot product dot name quantity item dot quant 
price item dot price and the next thing is item dot count multiply item dot price so we can calculate the total uh, value in the form of currency so you can change the uh, uh, so now in the form of usd so here we have a item dot count and uh, model dot order detail page here we have a item dot product dot name item dot count and item dot price and item dot count to multiply item dot price or to string and the payment is uh, in the form of usd so here we have a user is in role website dot uh, role dot role of admin and the role of employee so so here we have a order header dot order status order status dot status approved and here we have a button if the order status is approved then uh, asp action is in the form of in process and type is submit so start processing is there if the processing is there then uh, then order status is in the form of uh, status in a uh, process and under process you can say then we can click on the ship order and also we have a return validate empty uh, method so we can check the carrier as well as the um, tracking number okay and the next button is used for the order status dot status refund as well as model dot order header dot order status and order status is uh, cancelled and the refund that cancel order button will be called okay if it is not actually uh, model dot order header dot order status is not equals to order status dot status refund and model uh, dot order header dot status is not equals to order dot order status dot status cancelled then cancel order button is enabled if user dot is in role website role dot role your of user and model dot order header dot order status is double equals to order status dot status pending then pay now button will be called okay if order status is pending so now in the pay now button is enabled so user is in role website role dot role user and model dot order header dot order order status is order status is uh, pending then uh, pay now button is enabled so it's just let's run this uh, project and uh, you will see the output it will take time and uh, to run the project and uh, in the next video i will show you how to handle all these buttons uh, all this uh, action button like the cancel order button and uh, pay now button and uh, shipping start shipping etc thank you guys for watching this video